Welcome to Subramani. Uh, somebody must have told you, uh, uh, don't sweat the small stuff, right? So whether you are buying a T-shirt for 800 rupees or uh, 900 rupees, doesn't really matter. So if your wife or you uh, do some such expenditure which perhaps you didn't need, don't just fight over it. It's not worth it, right? So, but here I'm not going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about what are the things on which people spend a lot of time on in uh, financial planning and why it is perhaps not so important. The first thing is asset allocation. Too many people sit and worry about how their assets are allocated. Should it be 70-30? Should it be 60-40? Honest to God, it doesn't really matter too much, right? As long as the fact that when in equity, when equity markets are rising and you go too much into equity, it's time to put some discipline and pull back and put some money into debt. But let us say you are 50-55 uh, years of age and you have 2 crores in debt, funds and pensions etc. Beyond that all your money can be in uh, equity uh, as long as you don't think your children are going to need your money. On, uh, we spend too much time on asset allocation. Asset allocation is not something on which you need to spend too much time on. Yes, it is good to do asset allocation, but beyond a particular stage, all your money being in equity is okay. And at a particular age, all your money being in debt also will not matter because uh, let's say you're 85 years of age. At that stage, it won't, you're not spending too much. And uh, even if all your money was in debt and it was covering your expenses, that's fine. Maybe a little bit of uh, money for... Uh, care in the sense that you have uh, you know stuck to the bed you're bedded in and you need help uh, you may have to help hires and hires are expensive so then yes you need some money uh, which is available but beyond that it doesn't really matter another thing which doesn't matter in which fund you invest for example if somebody tells you a uh, flexi cap fund is good and you put it in uh, there are 42 mutual funds and you can be sure there are at least 42 uh, uh, flexi cap funds maybe there are 45 mutual funds now and there are 45 flexi cap funds choosing between a b c d yes it uh, later on it can look like oh god there is a big gap but doesn't really matter which fund you choose as long as they are in the top 5 10 20 funds it's enough don't choose the worst fund house with small AUM and uh, going nowhere which means the company is not focused on growth so any company which is on which is focused on growth which has a good team which has a good sales team and a good uh, investment management team is good they will keep growing and once they don't perform there will be pressure on them to perform because the whole market will put pressure on them so they will all come back so uh, one year fund A will perform one year fund B will perform one year fund C will perform if you're that scared split it between two three funds that's it uh, once you do that don't uh, uh, look at it every two months three months and say and uh, get uh, by some app which says oh this fund is not performing well switch from here to there believe me there are no such apps available if there are such apps available they are trying to get AUM from you that's all so don't spend don't sweat your uh, this is again small stuff so don't sweat it too much saying oh my god i need to know which uh, which fund for how how i select and all that don't break your head over it any fund is good enough if you don't have a uh, have an advisor just go diy uh, put it in direct and that's it uh, don't don't sweat it too much don't read too much about why this fund has underperformed in the last quarter why this fund has outperformed in the next quarter is going to outperform in the next quarter just don't rack your brains in fact if you see i've got 3000 videos i don't think i've spent more than two three videos on how to select funds doesn't matter select a good fund house reasonably big fund house and uh, just pick up one flexi cap fund or two three flexi cap funds and put it there don't don't uh, waste too much time there uh, another time another thing on which people don't spend enough time and which they should i spoke about two where they should not spend so much time one is asset allocation one is picking the fund uh, the, th the two where you should spend time and effort is uh, picking the healthcare combination which you need. How much of insurance you need, how much of top up, how much of super top up. Just check it out properly and then buy it and buy it with, an, uh, with the help of an agent.
when you don't have an agent the company itself becomes the agent and the company will not tell you things which you don't want to hear and they will not tell you thing and they will not fight hard for you so don't buy uh, don't buy medical insurance direct right so buy uh, life insurance direct buy it online buy pure term insurance medical insurance please go to somebody who understands medical insurance that's not me i go to somebody who and uh, i decide how much to take insurance and how much of top up how much of super top up right so all that is necessary for you to do while taking medical insurance the other uh, question which people don't uh, pay much attention is uh, choice of pension now suppose you're 60 years of age or you're 55 years of age and you have a pension plan uh which you have to decide how to take the pension and they tell you okay if you take this pension you will get uh, 8500 per month uh, with the residual uh, value or uh, 8500 per month uh, plus uh, 4250 for your spouse after your death or you will get uh, 9800 without any residual value you will have to sit think and calculate it is not to say that you know that your wife will live longer than you but that's an assumption that you make that the person who is taking the uh, pension plan will die first and the other beneficiary will live longer of course things can go wrong if even if your wife is uh, 13 years younger to you she can die before you there is nothing which says that can't happen but you're just trying to see how much is the cash flow uh assuming that uh, you die first and your wife gets the money it's very useful to do that calculation don't fall for numbers just like that say oh this is 8500 that is 9800 1300 rupees will not matter at all after some time right so depending at which age you are making this selection uh make sure that you do the math i'm not even saying to always choose a uh, pension where the spouse gets the residual benefit right so be careful about on what you're spending your time in personal finance it doesn't really matter too much about asset allocation or which fund you choose of course if your fund is doing very badly it is the last uh, <clears throat> in the in 42 funds it is the last then you have to sit and reconsider as to how you even chose that but that may not be the best time to get out of that fund because for going from 42 to 14 or 15 may not be very difficult so you may have stayed with the fund during the worst part of its performance so find out what uh, what you have done uh, do a quick review but don't have to spend too much time uh, sweating the small stuff 5 minutes 7 minutes anything beyond that if you spend on uh, choosing which fund uh you wasted your time right so choose the fund house uh, look at the fund manager look at the fund manager's track record and that's it then make the choice right so all these uh, understanding where you have to spend time on uh, while doing personal finance and where you don't have to spend time doing personal finance is very important so that we because we all have limited time right you have limited time as to how much you want to spend on personal finance don't exhaust yourself by doing unnecessary things and Uh, then ignoring the saying oh let me just buy the first uh, medical insurance ad which i see no that's not the way to buy medical insurance spend time on medical insurance spend time on pension don't spend time on asset allocation and choosing which fund to invest thank you